Hello, brothers and sisters of the life, fellow starseeds, way showers, light bringers. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with a delightful message from a new friend, as channeled by my dear friend, Galaxy Girl, for January 9th, 2024. And this message is from Pebbles, an adolescent dragon. So Galaxy Girl begins the story for us, telling us an adolescent yellow and purple dragon is in my office with me standing by the door the size of a large St. Bernard. This is a sudden surprise we have not met before. He says he wants to meet me, then I am so cool and I tell him I think he's awesome as well. What's your name? I ask him. And he says, hi, I'm Pebbles. This is my baby name, but soon I will have a really cool grown-up name like Flash or Zigzag. I like to go fast. And Galaxy Girl asks him, how old are you, Pebbles? And he says, I'm a few cycles since I hatched. I like to fly and I'm working on my smoke rings. My parents fly a lot around your planet and do things to help the energies. There is a lot of dirt and monsters on their planet that they are munching on. We like to munch on dark things and get rid of them that way. It's fun. I can't wait until I catch my first monster. And Galaxy Girl says, suddenly, surrounding either side of him, I see two large, friendly dragon heads, purple and green. A parrot couple are smiling. Their dragon smiles at me, and I think I know them from my travels. And they reply, yes, we know you very well. We are part of the dragon cleansing group, here to clean and clear the energies of Gaia, to hone the vibration to tone the crystals and clear the debris energetically. You, many of you, know us. We send this feeling of knowing now to you. There, we are known. We have little to add tonight, but wish to accompany our little hatchling to keep him out of trouble. He is a handful. And she tells us they are smiling their big toothy smiles, their kind golden eyes dancing with joy and light. And they go on to say, we are friends, Galaxy Girl. We are friends with many who read your messages, with many in the militaries, with many in the skies. We are all here working together to assist with Ascension Gaia, and it is good. So Galaxy Girl says, I asked them about the Galactic Wars. And they reply, yes, there were many wars in this sector. Many dragon worlds were initially destroyed early on, but we repopulated other beautiful worlds, realms that are now filled with dragon magic and energies, and we returned in time to heal our old planets, and they are in process of renewal. Your world has been war-torn for millennia and millennia and millennia. Many cycles of dark we have breathed our firelight into. We breathe our fire with heat, with power. We are strong like you. We are mighty in our glorious bodies like you. We are friends with the human ones. We have been and will be again. Time is a spiral, and our corkscrew of time is bending further and further together so that it is a straight line of the now. Your time has been an entrapment. There is no trap in the higher dimensions. There is freedom of travel, lightheartedness, and light. We dragons love to explore, to fly, to dive deep into the dark and come out with a tasty snack, victorious. We have been gobbling up creatures of your night and clearing your surface and underground. Our bellies are full. We are happy with Gaia's progress and happy that humans are opening their eyes a little wider. Then Galaxy Girl asks Pebbles if he'd like to add anything and he says, Oh, someday I'll grow up to be just like my parents as I hatch into my own. I have powers too. I'm fast. So Galaxy Girl asks the parent dragons again, Dragons, are things progressing well in your opinion? And they tell her, Galaxy Girl, we are not at liberty to have opinions, for we follow the prime directive of Source. We are always progressing perfectly then. Dragons obey not because we must, for we are free. We have free will, too. 
We can easily leave this war-torn scene, but we serve. We serve the light. We serve Source, and we are aspects of Source, so therefore all is in perfect timing. You seem impatient. You do not want things to happen too fast. The humans must be ready for what is to come. And Galaxy Girl asks them, what is to come? And they tell her the great light, the great change that is to come. This has been slowed down so that more may travel, so that more may come. And many more are coming than was previously thought. Your world was thought but lost until starseeds such as many of you lobbied heavily for the great collaboration of worlds and realms to save this one planet. You lobbied. You called others to action. And the dragons came. We are here now. We have wormholes on your planet that lead immediately to our own worlds so we can go home, have a weekend as you might say. We come back refreshed to do more clearing. We have been clearing many military bases. You are not aware of this yet as we are mostly invisible still to the human ones. Although you may see us in the skies, you may feel us in our presence near you. Ask and invite us into your homes, into your office places to clear and clean the energies. There are many restless 4D entities and spirits that need to be removed and we are doing this. Our bellies are full. So she asked them, dragons, do you know if there will be a solar flash? And their reply, we do not know where or when, but we are aware of this possible outcome. And she tells us they are showing me thumbprints and scale prints. And they tell her, again, Galaxy Girl, sources prints are all over this project. And Gaia will ascend in glory, in beauty, and in grace, as will humanity. And all is well. We depart. Come along, hatchling. And Galaxy Girl tells Pebbles, you can come visit me anytime. And he says, okay, I will. Bye. What a delightful, encouraging, beautiful message from our friends, the dragons, and our new little friend, Pebbles. I hope we hear from him again sometime. As often happens when I read these messages to all of you, I'm overcome with emotion. Sometimes the messages are powerful and dynamic, but this one I found to be lighthearted, uplifting, filled with joy and love from the dragons to all of you who are listening. Let me remind you once again that Galaxy Girl now has her own channel here on YouTube, Galaxy Girl Underscored Messages. I believe I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section, but now YouTube offers another amazing tool for us that's transcriptions of the messages that are available almost as soon as I publish them that you can listen to in your own native language. You can also always find Galaxy Girl's work on Era of Light or voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and I am filled with joy and glee about this powerful, uplifting message from the dragons for all of you. Thank you so much for listening. I just love the dragons, and I know many of you do as well.